I heard we were solving crimes. We're not solving crimes. No, I'm, I'm solving crimes. I'm Horatio. Yeah, but we're Let's not. solve some crimes. Okay. No? These are just riddles. These aren't crimes. You know those emails you never open? I opened one, and here we go. There are varying degrees of difficulty, okay? Riddle number one. Yeah, there are there now. You have to spend a day in a room, mm -hmm. okay? You have three choices. Okay. One room is full of African killer bees. Okay. The other room is full of the most poisonous snakes in the world. And the other room is full of uh, lions that haven't eaten in a year. Okay. Which room are you going in? I'm going in the lions. Why? Cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There is a right answer here. There's a right answer? Okay. African killer bees, the most poisonous snakes, or lions that haven't eaten in a year. I mean, as much as I want to cuddle a lion, I feel like that's not the right answer. Well, like, okay. So, can we talk about the bees for a second? It's a very obvious answer. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Well then but I'm we can talk about the bees if you want. I'm sticking with my cuddles. <laughs> like, no, like, okay. I feel like bees, because they're not, like, you. they won't provoke, like, unless you provoke them, you're probably fucking fine. I will now tell you the answer. Okay. It's the lions. Damn it! For cuddles? Not for cuddles. Aww. It's because they haven't eaten in a year. They're dead. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That's the kind of riddles we're doing here. Oh. Yeah, no, that's not great. <laughs> cuddles! <laughs> Alright, now it was a warm-up. It was a warm-up. Alright. Right, here we go. Ready? Alright. I like that you thought for a second you're just like, fuck, she's on it. Yeah, and I was, then like, I was Whoa. like, And then, why? Cuddles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Alright, number two. Okay. A woman shoots her husband. Uh-huh. Then holds him underwater for five minutes, and then finally she hangs him. What did he do? But later that night, they go for dinner and everything's great. Woman shoots her husband, holds him underwater for five minutes, mm -hmm. and then hangs him. Mm -hmm. Shoots her husband. What did he do? <laughs> yeah, obviously. Uh, holds him underwater for five minutes, and then hangs him. I feel like this is a laundry thing. It's not, but it's, yeah, you're on the right track. Yeah. Oh, um, it's a photo. It's a yeah. photo, yes! Yeah. Washes the photo in the solution and then hangs it up, yeah. You have won a high five! Oh, <laughs> yes! That's good. And cuddles. That's good. And cuddles. And cuddles. That's good. Yeah. So you're 50% right now. Okay. All right. <clears throat> what is what is black when you buy it, red when you use it, and gray when you throw it away? Oh, I've done this riddle before, but I don't remember what the answer is. Black when you buy it, red when you use it, gray when you throw it away. Black when you buy it, red when you use it. A dog? <laughs> gray when you, as soon as they get gray, you throw them away? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Red when you throw Yeah. <laughs> no? It's not a dog. Oh, no. Okay. No. Um, we almost got one. Mm -hmm. What the fuck did we almost get that we don't own? Mm -hmm. Ugh. We bought a different kind. So we didn't buy the kind where this is involved. A barbecue. Right. So charcoal. Charcoal, yes. Yeah, briquette. That's yep. right. Yep. Good one. Thanks for the hints. One for three so far. I mean, I'm taking 50%. <laughs> I know you walked me to the door, but I'm going to go. I'm still bad. I'm still bad at 500. Okay, you know what? If you get the next one, you can have those both. Okay. All right. Can you name three consecutive days without using the words Wednesday, Friday, or Sunday? Can I name three consecutive days? Day before yesterday, yesterday, and today. I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> but it's supposed to be yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Yeah, Another yeah. high five! <laughs> all right, for um, all of the... Wait, wait, wait. This one's for all the marbles. This one, um... This is an unusual paragraph. I'm curious as to just how quickly you can find out what is so unusual about it. Am I allowed to read this? Sure. Okay. So without touching. Well, like, it's it's formatted very weirdly. Not the format. Okay. It's just a stupid email. Okay. I mean, it's a weirdly written paragraph. Like, the fact that it says unusual and odd. Makes it unusual and odd. 
pretty good. I don't I don't get it. You wanna just Any guesses? I am You've read many books in your life. Yeah. Yeah. And what's so different about this paragraph than any book you've ever read? Not the formatting. There's multiple exclamation marks. What's not in that paragraph? I don't know. What is a subject? Like no, the the paragraph's the subject. Um Do you know what the most common letter is? Oh fuck off! There's no E's in it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's a mind bomb. <laughs> yeah, it's trippy. An e. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I was like, why yeah. do they use the same words so yeah, many times? exactly, because they have no choice, they have to. Wow. Because well, I don't know what it is, I, I think E is, what is E used, um, like almost four times as much in the other As any, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. That's wild. So which one's your favorite out of all those? The cuddle. Because <laughs> there's no cuddles! Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. The lion would be dead, you'd be cuddling a, a skeleton of a lion. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sad salad. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, so you want, would you like to, uh, know a truth about me? Sure. I have forgotten three of the five riddles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, don't be like Kristen. Try them on your friends. Let us know what how it goes. What's the second riddle? They're so simple and so beautiful. Are you ready? Is it riddle time? It's riddle time. All right. How smart do you feel? Like, smartest guy in the room? Tackle right. this giant brain of mine. This is a statement and you just have to answer it. Okay. All right. The more you take, the more you leave behind. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Uh, time? Are you time? I mean. Okay, I, I keep going. Uh, I mean, I don't like it. Uh, I just can't get past time. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, like, if I, if I take time doing something, I've like, that's more time that's gone behind me. I'm going only one way in time. So like, my, my past keeps growing. I keep leaving more time behind me the more time I take to do things. I guess, I guess we could accept that answer. What's, it's not right. What's but... the, oh, is there, was the other one way different than that? Yeah. Really? Is but it? Like, is it, but it, you do like the other answer really good. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, like, you know, distant something. Like, uh, like the more you take, uh, like the more steps you take, the more steps you leave behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Footsteps. Woo! That's a good one. Footsteps. I feel like. That was good. I feel like you've already done this one before. We'll find out. Okay. A prisoner is told, if you tell a lie, we will hang you. If you tell the truth, we will shoot you. What can he say to save himself? If we tell a lie, I've never done this one though, but I like these ones a lot. If I, if I tell a lie, they hang me. If I tell the truth, they shoot me. So I say, uh, no matter what I say, they're going to hang me. Yeah, no matter what I say, they're going to hang me. Yeah, you will hang me. Yeah. Whoa. Cool. Those are good. Those are like... I, I still don't get it. My brain has to like... I have to literally do like a little ge geographical little tree map to do I, those. Yeah, I, I still... I guess it's because if I tell a lie, you'll hang me. Yeah. If I tell the truth, you'll shoot me. So, so the lie is, you will hang me. Yeah, and for that to be true, they'd have to hang him, but then they would have had to shoot him. They can't hang him because he didn't lie. Right. I like those ones. That's good. Okay, I think you're going to like this one just because of who the subject of it is. All right. One snowy night, Sherlock Holmes was in his house sitting by a fire. All of a sudden, a snowball crashed through his window. Holmes looked out and saw three neighborhood brothers disappear around a corner. Their names, John Crimson, Mark Crimson, and Paul Crimson. The following day, Holmes got a note on his door that simply read, question mark Crimson, he broke your window. 
which one should Sherlock question? Uh, John, Paul, and Mark. So it, is it is it something to do with like question mark? Yeah. Is it? Wait, is question Mark. Mark. It's Mark. It's Mark. <laughs> That's cute. I like yeah. that one. Yeah. That's cute. I I do like that one a lot. Oh, I like this one because it rhymes. <laughs> when I'm used, I'm useless. Once offered, soon rejected. In desperation, oft expressed, the intended not protected. What am I? What? Say that again. Once I'm used, I'm useless. Once offered, soon rejected. In desperation, off expressed, the intended not protected. What am I? What? Okay, so once you're used, you're useless. Mm -hmm. If you're offered, you're often rejected or always rejected? Often. Often, often rejected. And the, the actual person who uses it isn't protected. That's correct. What's useless when you're using it? Hold on. I'm gonna reread one the last part of it. Okay. okay. Yeah. In desperation, oft expressed, the intended not protected. Desperation. Ooh. Something that you use in desperation that doesn't really do you any good. Right. Yeah. Okay. Like crying. I mean, that would. No, it doesn't really make sense. Uh. You're very, very much on the right brainwave, though. Um, um, uh, oh man, no, um, uh, <laughs> this is hard. Yeah, this one is hard. But as soon as you hear it, you can be like, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a prayer. I'm trying to think of how I can give you a hint without just giving you the answer. Yeah, no, that's okay. I might, I might take the answer on this one. I'll just take one more second here. I might take the answer though, because it's uh, pretty... Oh. Okay, what is something that you would offer... Um, like that, assistance? That once you, once you, once you put it out there... Uh, if this it's, is love? What's something that you offer that once, like... Or that you give, mm -hmm. that once you put it out there, it's it. You might as well have not done it. Like when you shush someone in the library. I mean, <laughs> that's. <laughs> it's like you're making more noise than everybody. <laughs> oh, I, I I don't know. Like I really, I'm gonna take the answer to this one. I don't know. A poor excuse. A poor excuse. Yeah. Whoa. Because if it's a bad explanation as to why you did it, yeah, whoa. you might as well have not have even offered it. That's good. Right? Oh. That's my new favorite one, I think. Oh, fuck. A poor excuse. That's really good. Yeah. Damn. You want to mm. stop somebody, that's the one you use. Yeah. There's like a bit of romance to that with it yeah. rhyming and then like yeah. it being. Because, you know, no one gives a. A good excuse is great, yeah. but a poor excuse is shit. I don't think I would have got that. No. That's solid. Yeah. Um, thank you. You're welcome. That's good. All right, well, yeah. Enjoy those riddles. Go mess mm -hmm. with somebody and um, mm -hmm. don't give them the answer. Let them sweat it out. Yeah. <laughs> Take their phone and their computer and their Wi-Fi password. Yeah. And then make them think about it. Yeah. And That's then give them a really <laughs> shitty excuse as That's... to why you did that. <laughs> That's like the worst punishment, though. Like, uh, if someone didn't have access to the internet just put a riddle in their brain that's really hard and you have no choice but to think about it. Oh no, you could be me and just <laughs> just delete. <laughs> Ooh, a leaf. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go look at some better riddles. Great. See you later. All right.